I am pleased to be here once again uh, as the Eastwood Neighborhood Association announces the 2014 Curb Appeal Contest. Uh, I was here last year for it. Uh, this is one of the uh, nicer events in the city of Syracuse. This is a great location to have it. Eastwood in particular prides itself on being hometown USA and they do an extraordinary amount of work to have a tight-knit community, a tight-knit neighborhood, and of course they take a great deal of competitive pride uh, in their curb appeal. So this is always a hot and heavy contest. Don't uh, let the, the niceness of the Eastwood neighbors uh, fool you. They take this contest very seriously. I want to thank the Eastwood Neighborhood Association and the rest of their partners for allowing us to be able to do this and to sort of show off what home ownership in the city of Syracuse and Eastwood in particular can offer everyone. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Minch Lewis, who's going to talk about the particulars uh, of the contest and the rules to make sure that nobody cheats. <laughs> Well, thank you, Madam Mayor. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And um, we know that this is part of the whole program that you have supported over the years to, to really create the great neighborhoods where people want to sink roots and, and uh, raise families. So it's really terrific to have you here. It's also uh, great to have our partners, the Home Builders Association, uh, who participate in this uh, program uh, with us. The program is uh, an effort to call attention to the beautiful properties that we have here and to give our property owners a chance to nominate properties for this Curb Appeal Award. The award, the good news at the end of the program, is a $500 gift certificate provided by ENA and the Home Builders Association to support a Curb Appeal Improvement Program uh, project uh, at a particular property. The winning property will be selected in uh, at the uh, September annual meeting of the Eastwood Neighborhood Association, and at that time, uh, we'll um, award the $500 gift certificate. So it's a program. Uh, properties can be nominated during the during the summer. A committee will select 20 properties, and those 20 properties will be voted on at the annual meeting in September. So the program then is a real chance to call attention to the great properties that we have in the in the city and we want to thank um, Mayor Miner for participating in this as well as the Home Builders Association and our other community partners. So uh, are there any questions? Why did you decide to start this and why keep it going? We think this is a great opportunity to call attention to the, the wonderful properties that we have here in Eastwood. Eastwood is a, is a great city neighborhood, and it's a, it's a neighborhood where people can really sink, sink roots and, and raise families. And uh, I think the beautiful properties... Dogs, dogs too. And, and, and dogs. Dogs, too. Uh, so we have, we have an opportunity to uh, really call attention to the neighborhood and give our, our, our families uh, who take real pride in their properties a chance to sort of celebrate the the uh, achievements that, that we've uh, we've recognized in the uh, in the neighborhood. So this is the first, the second of a of a, a program, uh, and um, we're looking forward to continuing it. Uh, properties are nominated by submitting a an application to the Eastwood Neighborhood Association. Uh, that's uh, done on the website eastwoodneighbor.com uh, is the website and. Um, you can nominate the property by submitting an application uh, through the Eastwood Neighborhood Association website. What was the response like last year? We had over over uh, 40 nominations, and the uh, the program uh, was was uh, the the winning property actually was the property at the corner here uh, that was selected uh, at the at the uh, annual meeting last year. So uh, Chris Ennis and and Lou D. Uh, D Paradino uh, were both the winners, and we were very happy to to have uh, this site as a as a, a place to announce allowed, it. Will they be allowed to be entered again? Our, co our competition, players. our rules. Yeah, they're this is a very competitive players. process. But we we uh, have a process so that people that have won in prior years uh, would uh, could be nominated, but wouldn't be would be uh, wouldn't be selected as the winner in a, a subsequent year. But we don't. We want to encourage everybody to to nominate properties that are just beautiful examples of our residential community. What does this do for the pride in the neighborhood? I think this calls really attention, don't, don't you, Mayor? Uh, it calls attention to the fact that we have so many beautiful properties here and that Eastwood is really 
a uh, walkable neighborhood community where um, you know people can really take pride in their property and they won't be alone in taking that pride in their property their neighbors take take that pride too and th this is really a program to encourage that kind of sharing and let me just say from a personal standpoint um, that one of the worst times of my life which was when I was studying for the bar um, in the summer of 1999 I lived uh, in Eastwood and the only sort of uh, present that I would allow myself during that terrible time was that around dinner time every night I would take a walk around my neighborhood and as I walked from neighborhood to neighborhood to try to clear my head and smelling everybody cooking out on their grill and feeling very sorry about myself uh, that I couldn't be celebrating with them that was uh, one of the first times that I remember looking at every single house and how much pride people had about their flowers and their landscaping and how every house was different. So this really gives us a chance to show that you can walk in the neighborhoods, you can see what everybody does, and, and it really is uh, its artistic celebration. Summers are short here, but we know how to take advantage of it. So this is a way for all of us to take advantage of it. Mayor, what kind of support uh, is the city offering for this? Obviously, we're standing in a, in a park right now, City Park, so what kind of support do you guys offer? Well, we do whatever the Eastwood Neighborhood Association asks us to do. Um, that's how, uh, I'm not the sharpest tool in the drawer, but sharp enough to know to do that. So whatever the Eastwood Neighborhood Association asks us for help with, we do. But the truth of the matter is that the Eastwood Neighborhood Association is one of the strongest in the city. Um, and they are self-starters and they get up and go and do these kind of things. And so we're all the beneficiaries of that. I would urge all of you to come back in September before that, obviously, but come back in September to see everybody who has submitted houses and to look at the pictures, because it's really extraordinary. Obviously, a lot of curb appeal already in this neighborhood. I'm, I'm a little biased. I live a couple streets down, so um, obviously a lot of curb appeal in this neighborhood. Do you hope that this spreads to other neighborhoods that may not have as much Curb well, appeal. what does this do for the city as a whole? Obviously, I think all of our neighborhoods uh, have curb appeal, but what this does is it allows Eastwood to say to people, we're a little bit different than other neighborhoods. So come walk around and see what we have to offer that's different from other, other places in the city. And so it's just a way, one of the great things about the city of Syracuse is its diverse neighborhoods. And so this is a way to show people how Eastwood has its own unique assets and come in and look at it. I just want to mention the, the fact that we have another event that is calling attention to the uh, neighborhood focus of our Eastwood Neighborhood Association programs. We have an announcement for the Eastwoods Skate Plaza coming up on June 21st at the plaza, which will be, which is behind uh, Huntington School, Hunt the old former Huntington Park. And the ceremony begins at 11 o'clock and includes a skateboarding demonstration. So if you... Are you going to be doing that, Mitch? I will. <laughs> Are you going to be demonstrating? I will be there, um, and I'm sure I'm sure you can bring your skateboard, um, and, and we'll have I a great time. I think it will be oh. being fixed that day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will be. We, we could have ribbon cutting. I will right, have the right. scissors. So that's June 21st at 11 o'clock at, at uh, Huntington, Huntington Park. Uh, so I'd like to invite everybody to that event as well. Great. So thank you very much for being here, and we're looking forward to this program. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good